What's up guys, this is Mr. Erdogan, you're watching Music with Mr. Erdogan. Today's going to be all about learning how to read Hot Cross Buns and Mary Had a Little Lamb on a musical staff. Alright guys, let's get started. So if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I suggest you go way back to the beginning and watch those before you continue with this one. In my previous videos, you're going to learn how to play our first three notes, as well as Hot Cross Buns and Mary Had a Little Lamb without reading music. But in this video, we're going to use that knowledge that we learned in our previous videos and apply that to playing music while reading it on a staff. Now let's go ahead and play Hot Cross Buns again. And then let's play Mary Had a Little Lamb again. Now before we look at those songs on a staff, let's look at the notes individually on the staff. A musical staff is five lines that has different circles and different lines on it. And that basically tells you how to play your song and what to do in that song. So our first note that we've learned was our B and B lands on the middle line, which is line three. And our second note that we've learned is our A, and that A lands on the second space. And the third note that we learned was our G, and the G lands on our second line. Now when we're counting our lines, we count from the bottom, line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. And then we count our spaces, we count those from the bottom as well. Space one, space two, space three, and space four. So now let's go ahead and use that knowledge, let's apply it to learning how to play hot cross buns while reading the music. So as we can see here, we see hot cross buns, a bunch of different notes, all in this staff. And at the beginning, we start with a B, then an A, then a G, then it repeats. Then we have eight notes playing a G four times. We have four A eighth notes. And then we have the exact same thing we played in our first bar. B, then A, then G. So I'm going to play along with the music here, and I want you guys to play along at home as well. Now let's move on to looking at Mary Had a Little Lamb. So again, we're playing our first three notes, our B, our A, and our G, but we're using those notes differently this time. Let's find all our Bs. You'll see them all on the middle line, the third line. Let's find all our As. You'll see all of those on our second space. And let's find all of our Gs. You'll see all of those on the second line. So let's go ahead and play through that and play along with the music. Now if you had difficulty with reading that music, I suggest rewinding this video or going back to relearn how to play our B, our A, and our G, and then Hot Cross Buns, and Mary Had a Little Lamb. Hope you guys enjoyed learning how to play Hot Cross Buns and Mary Had a Little Lamb while reading the music. If you like this video, please hit that like button below. If you want to subscribe for future updates, go ahead and do that as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to play Hot Cross Buns and Mary Little Lamb. Mary Little? So before we learn how to read the music, let's we can go ahead and I hope you enjoyed learning how to play. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ah.